Produce of work. Created with the finest detail and comfort in mind. And what's more, we've been fashioned by an animal that has no hands, constructed purely with their beak and feet alone. That's clever. The parents chose a nest in the school hundred foot in the pinnacle. From the, From the nest, nest designed, designed to attract, to attract a, mate, a mate to the, the one built by both, both the male and female bird to house their nest. nest. This, this beautiful, beautiful and bright yellow bird does, does with, with his elaborately constructed nest, nest created to lure in his, his new mate. mate. Yes, yes, it's, it's the, the male's male job, job to build this intricate, intricate nest during mating season, season to attract a prospective partner. Unusual, I know. But the weaver bird completes the basic structure. It's a very complicated scenario, and so too is the nest. It is also also a, a very, very lengthy, lengthy process, process as weaver birds start, start nesting, nesting in August and stop building nests in February. February. But the poor guys are keen for a break come March. March. The nest is a sophisticated structure that starts off with the bird making a knot with a long blade of grass. He then creates a circular structure weaving strips of grass, leaves, twigs, and roots using his beak and feet until he ends up with a ball-shaped nest that hangs from the tree. His strong, conical beak helps him to cut the materials required, and with help from his feet, the weaver can tie real knots in the nest material, making it more simple. Secure. And not, and not only, only is he clever, clever and resourceful, he's also, also fast, completing a nest in just two days. days. The nest is said to be 100% waterproof and survived by the storm. storm. So this, this guy definitely has talent, talent don't you think? Cop. The, the nest building, building activities, activities of hammer cops in central Mali are fascinating. fascinating. Not not Human human being. Being. Each, Each pair, pair may build up to five, five nests a year. year. They, they occupy them for relatively short, short periods and can return to a previously, previously occupied nest or renovate an old, old one. one. The nest the height varies depending, depending on the suitability of the site, and, and the entrance hole direction is dependent on the tree's position. A distinctive and legendary mystery bird with brown plumage and a hammer-shaped head, the hammer cop is widespread in Africa. It is considered a bad omen associated with Lightning, lightning, leprosy, leprosy and, and even, even death. death. So, so it, it might, might be a be bird, bird to avoid. Ruby throated hummingbird. hummingbird. It's, it's easy, easy to see why, why the hummingbird's nest, nest is so pretty. This, this beautiful, beautiful little nest is built, is built entirely by the female bird, bird with her tastes taste quite obvious in its design and creation. And the male, male plays barely any role at all aside, aside from mating. They have, they have no, no part in choosing the nesting site, site gathering the materials to build it, or raising the chicks once they are born. A fine example of an absent father, the male hummingbird has it pretty easy. The female, on the other hand, prior to hatching her eggs, Spend several, several hours, hours a day, day for up to seven, seven days, days collecting, collecting materials for her well-considered well nest. nest. She hunts she out bits of moss and lichen, lichen plant down, down from thistles, dandelions or cattails, spider, spider silk, silk, cotton fibers, small, small bits of bark or leaves, feathers, fuzz, fuzz and fur. fur. The, the solo, solo mom weaves, weaves the materials together, together into a dense cup that, that appears to be decorated. decorated. This, this acts, acts as, as a camouflage, camouflage from the world, and, and the result is quite spectacular. spectacular. She's, She's a clever, a clever little, little bird, bird too. too. The, nest the nest is designed, designed specifically, specifically to protect, protect the eggs from tipping in high winds, winds and, and the, the spider silk that binds it together gives it elasticity to enlarge as, as her little ones, ones grow. The, the female hummingbird is a hard worker, worker but she's, she's also, also a genius. genius. Bald Eagle Nest. nest. It's, it's not surprising that one of the one of largest, largest bird's nests in, in the world was built by a pair of bald eagles, eagles and possibly refurbished by its successors. The, the nest, located, located near St. Petersburg, Florida, Florida USA, USA, measured a whopping 2.9 meters wide and 6 meters deep. Not only that, but this nest weighed more than 2 tons. 
It must have been one enormous tree that coped with that monster. It was examined in 1963 and was found to be a genuine bird-created nest. The male and female eagles build the nest together, with both gathering materials for its structure, arranging them together, and bonding while doing so. Unlike other birds, adult bald eagles may continue to use the same nest each year, adding one to two feet of new material to the old structure. Eagles will return to the same nest and nesting territory each year if they successfully produce young at a nest. If their previous nest was unproductive and the pair decides to build a new one, the process begins one to three months prior to mating and is considered an important part of the breeding process. Every material is considered for the nest's design. Interwoven sticks create a solid structure and the interior is lined with grass, corn stalks, and other soft materials to ensure the comfort of their young. Moss is included and may serve as an insect repellent. What an ingenious addition from mom and dad. Edible nest swiftly. Like the witch's house in Hansel and Gretel, this little bird's nest can be eaten. Not only does this make it eco-friendly, it's probably pretty handy when mom or babies are hungry. The nest looks very cozy and is a common sight in the Andaman situated in the Bay of Bengal between India to the west and Myanmar to the north and east. A tiny bird that measures just 12 centimeters long and weighs about 18 grams, the swiftlet and the glossy swiftlet live in the limestone caves of Andaman. Nesting deep within the caves and other poorly lit areas, the swiftlets use echolocation for navigation with sound waves as they bounce off the surface. Their nesting locations are chosen to ensure they are safe from natural predators. And due to their size, these guys are prey to pretty much any creature or animal bigger than them, including bats, cats, and rats. They build nests that can be eaten by humans and are considered a rare delicacy in Chinese cuisine. The fact that they are built out of the bird's solidified saliva would be enough to put me off, but others aren't so bothered. When exposed to sunlight, the white nest gets a golden hue, often referred to as white gold. It's also Christ-like, at a whopping $4,000 per kilogram. Now, the biggest predator for the edible nest swiftlet are humans, and the bird has been added to the endangered species list. European Bee Eater these, these tiny, tiny colorful, colorful birds burrow into the sides of sandy banks, banks preferably near river, river shores, shores, and usually at the beginning of May. May. Similar to rabbits, the bee-eater creates a relatively long tunnel in which they lay five to eight eggs. Both the male and female care for the eggs, feeding and roosting as a couple. They look after their brood for about three weeks. During courtship, the male bee-eater finds and delivers food to the female, feeding her large items and eating the small ones himself. They primarily feed on insects, especially bees, wasps, and hornets, removing the sting before consumption. The male steps, steps up his game before and during egg laying, egg making sure his mate is well fed. As, as most males are monogamous and prefer just the one partner, partner they are very attentive. attentive. The, the bee eaters breed in warmer climates, climates including southern Europe, Europe and parts of North Africa, Africa and Western Asia. Asia. They, are they are strongly migratory, migratory spending winters, winters in tropical Africa.